The movie is called Uncertainty. Uh, it's an appropriate title. It's about making decisions or falling into indecision. Uh, it's about a couple. Um, uh, I'm half of that couple. <laughs> Lynn's not here, unfortunately. Too bad for you. And um, uh, the the process was really extraordinary um, because um, it wasn't your average movie where you have a script and you do your lines and everything's set. It was kind of largely improvised um, in order to reflect the, the themes of, the, of uncertainty in the movie. And uh, so uh, we kind of came up with exactly how each scene was going to go as we were doing it on the day. And I think that allowed for uh, something really honest that um, really inspired me. And uh, I'm really proud of the movie for it. It was a really interesting script, um, <clears throat> unlike a normal script. Uh, it was kind of like an outline where every scene was in it. Uh, Scott and David had very much uh, conceived of the story. So it's not uh, a movie like you think of some improvised movies like a Cassavetes movie or something that's just, you know, you feel like you're kind of hanging out with people and anything could happen and, you know, there's not that much of a structure to it. This movie's highly structured. Each scene just kind of said what each character basically feels. Every movie that I really like, it's because of just how it makes me feel. And unless I watch it three times, I almost never follow exactly every twist and turn of a plot. It's just not how my mind works. My dad does. That's what he follows when he watches a movie, you know? And that's why he doesn't like The Big Sleep, because the plot doesn't work. <laughs> but I love The Big Sleep, because I could just watch Bogart and McCall all day. And it's not because of the premise. It's just because, you know, it's that, you know, who knows what. You have to trust the director as an actor, because they're the one that really composes your performance as much as you do as an actor when when it comes to the medium of cinema it's going to be edited and um, you know it's different than being on a stage where the you know the the communication is directly from actor to audience um, as an actor you're going through this director to the audience I'm attracted to fear when it comes to the creative process